And uh, if you look down the beach, is there anyone else there at all? I don't see anybody. Okay. Now, are you standing in the water? Yes. Is the sun out? Yeah, it's very bright. Oh, very good. And is there only one sun in the sky? Mm hmm Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to lean forward and look at your reflection. Your reflection in the water. Can you see yourself? Mm -hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Can you describe yourself then, please? Me but younger. Me but younger. Ah, uh, very good. And do you have hair on your head? Yeah. I and what is your hair. what does your hair look like? It's real thick and black. Ah, uh, beautiful. Very beautiful. Now we're going to leave that scene and we're going to go to where you gather with other people or with other people that are like yourself, okay? And we're going to be there in the count of five. So we're there in five, four, three, halfway there, two, almost there, one, and you are there. Where are you now? people walking around and what do they look like kind of like me dark very good dark hair and what about their are do they have any type of garb on or are they minimal very minimal mm -hmm. and what would you describe at what they're wearing small pieces of cloth very minimal over their genitalia and mm -hmm. and uh, can you tell the difference between the male and the female? No. So what does everyone, what gender does it, do they look like they are? It's hard to say but more more masculine. More masculine. So do you think any of them are female at all? No. Ah. Uh, mm -mm. So how, how do you think you got, you procreate? I don't know. Oh, very good. Okay. And what is everyone doing there? Is it a village or a... Everyone's busy working. And what are they working on? Just their daily tasks of gathering food for the day and very so, much to themselves. Totally understood. And what area are you in? In the forest, but it's not it's not heavily wooded. I can see sunlight coming through. Oh, very good. And uh, can you see anyone carrying anything such as any of any types of food or anything like that? Like in baskets or bags or nets? Things on their shoulders, bags or gathering pieces on their shoulders. Very good. Busy, very busy. And just looking at them, do some of them look older or younger than others? A little bit, but not too much. Just not very much eye contact with me. Not very much eye contact. Very good. And do you recognize any of them at all? Mm -mm. I don't. And what time frame do you actually think this is? From, I mean, literally. If you think of American history or our, what time frame does it look like it is? Gosh. I guess is fine. I don't want to say prehistoric, but... Like bedrock, huh? Minus the dinosaurs? Yeah. Very good. And the sun, did it look like a normal sun, or was there anything in the sky that looked... No, just very bright. Very okay. clean. Very clean. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. And, uh... 
Just before we leave this scene, I want you to approach one of the others. The ones that may possibly are. Is anyone having any interaction with each other there at all? No, I just keep seeing movement go by me. Totally understood. Face down. Busy. Okay. Very busy. Real busy. Awesome. Okay, we have now moved forward and we're going to move out of that scene again. I want you to go forward to the very last day of your life there in that scene. I want you to go as an observer if you want to. You do not have to experience it. Now we've gone forward to the last day of your life in this lifetime. We are watching. What is happening? Got dark. It's dark. Mm -hmm. Have you already passed? Maybe. Very good. Now, from behind you, a beautiful light. You're going to feel it on your back. It's going to feel warm and wonderful. If you look at your shoulder, can you see the light coming from behind you? Yeah. Beautiful. Now I want you to slowly turn around, very slowly, and tell me uh, what does the light look like? It's taking a shape. What shape is that light in? It's very elongated. And I'm wearing a cape. I'm covered in something now. I don't know why I'm covered. Oh, beautiful. And you're covered over your body? Yeah. And not over your head, are you? Yes. Oh, okay. Now, and are you standing? Yes. And... If you were, do you feel your body? Feel, can you feel yourself? No. Can you see through the thing over you? No, it's, it's, it's comforting, but it's also feels kind of final. Oh, very good. Now I want you to keep looking at the light and <clears throat> Out of, the, out of the light, a very beautiful being is going to come through and they're going to help you and guide you on the rest of this journey we're on. And can you see them coming through? Yeah, it's a... The light kind of moves in different directions. Beautiful. With the same purpose, though. Oh, very good. And it's going to take shape so you can identify it and be very comfortable with what you see. And has it taken shape? It's a, it's a clear face, but it's made out of light. Beautiful. And uh, is the face smiling? No, just very calm. Oh, awesome. The, he, the, it has a message for you. Can you receive the message? Can you go ahead and get the message? They'll tell you. So just come with them. Ah, oh, they want you to follow them. Mm -hmm. Very good. And before you follow them, can you ask them who they are first, please? They'll tell you. Who is it? Just is someone who needs me. Ah, oh, very good. Someone that needs you. And go ahead and follow them. And tell me as you're following them how you're how how you how how are you following them? We're kind of floating. Beautiful. And did you float into the light? Just behind them, the light kind of hits me, but 
I'm not completely in it. Okay, and, and keep going then. And, and describe your journey or your travel. You can feel the wind, a lot of movement. So are you moving quickly? Fairly quickly. Beautiful. And you're going to be there in the count of five, four, three, halfway there, two, almost there, and one. Where have they taken you? I can't see anything. That's okay. Are they still there with you? And ask them what are they what are they showing you? I can't see anything. Well ask them what are what are who needs you? Who was it that needed you? They just want me to be happy. Oh, very good. And ask them, do they have any other messages for you? Stay calm and wait. And do they mean stay calm and wait right here, right now, or for, for something later? For something later. And what ask them, could they elaborate, please? There's nothing more. Very good. And are you still covered in the shroud? Mm hmm And can you ask them what is the shroud? It's just an energy. It's just a very safe energy. Ah, oh, very good. Very good. And ask them, is there anything that they could anything that they could tell you you've taken this trip and they just want me to look beyond just look beyond look beyond just look beyond what's going on now look further keep to, searching ah uh, for the big you mean the bigger picture mm -hmm. just keep searching and ask them can you ask them Three questions. That'll just help you. Where do I belong? And where did they say? Where is home? Where do they consider home? Where love is. Ah, oh, very good. And ask them, uh, <clears throat> why did you come to the planet Earth? Why are you on the planet Earth now? message would be to help other people. Ah, beautiful. And how many times have you been to the earth? Is this your second incarnation? Yes. And in your first incarnation, is that what they showed you earlier? Was that on the earth or was it somewhere else? That was it. 
And so it was maybe prehistoric times. Prehistoric, but not challenged by animals or anything. Understood. Like Beautiful. And can you ask them what is your purpose on this life? You say to carry a message, a message of Love, you say? And peacefulness and... Can you ask them what brought you to this planet? Did someone ask you to come? Or did you volunteer to come? I volunteered. I volunteered. Ah, oh, you volunteered. And who gave you the opportunity to volunteer? Did you hear the call? Yes. The call, who sent the call? Was it Prime Creator? Or Gaia? I don't know. Oh, very good. And is there anything else that they could possibly help you with or, uh, or help you in on your mission? Are you on a mission? Just that I was young in my former life, my first time. Okay. And that youth is something that I cherish, but I'm also fearful of losing it. And what's their advice about that? Stay calm. Is there a probability that you may live to be over a hundred years on this in this incarnation? Yes. Is the planet going through a, an ascension process now? Yes. Oh, very good. And are you going to be amongst the first of the? Uh, ascended beings on the planet before everyone else ascends the forefront of the ascension process the leader yes very good and is that where you will have the opportunity to fulfill what brings you the most joy in helping people yes very good and have you known Hank before this physical incarnation Could you ask them? They'll tell you. Mm -hmm. I did. You did? And where did you know Hank at? Was it on another planet or in another dimension? In another dimension. And what was the relationship? Someone that understood me. Oh, very good. And so, was it meant for you and Hank to come together today? Yes, for sure. Oh, very good. Very good. And how is this... How, how is this going to help you, the session that you're having here? Because we just did it impromptu. They'll tell you. Just slow me down. Uh, and you were moving in fast in what uh, direction that wasn't that you... Ah, very good. But you're moving fast, though, huh? So now what? You'll slow down and... Try to find the big picture again. Ah, uh, so were you actually looking for the big picture before? At one point in your life? Yes. And you, what, you got sidetracked? Yes. And so now you feel like you're... 
this will help you get you back on track. Mm -hmm. Was this something that you and Hank had put together before you physically incarnated? No. Uh, so Hank is just doing his job by finding you guys and helping wake you up. Is that what his purpose is? Yes. Very good. Very good. And ask them, on that, do you have any uh, extraterrestrial origins or are the extraterrestrials actually uh, working with you or having contact with you in this linear experience? No, not at all. Oh, very good. Are they having the contact with Hank? No. Oh, very good. So, the face, the shiny face of light, mm -hmm. is he still there? Mm -hmm. And ask them, is there anything else that they could possibly... You just wanted to come in and take a brief synopsis of the what it would be like to be induced. Is there anything that they could help you with? It? Any message they may have is what... to smile and be patient and I keep seeing over the trees and beyond I keep seeing that and is is there something coming in the clouds coming with the clouds or coming out of the clouds no just to keep moving just to keep moving in that direction whatever direction that is the big picture and ask them what is the big picture if they could to be able to help people are there extra dimensionals uh, dealing with uh, you in this linear existence then as opposed to extraterrestrials? No. Are there extra dimensionals working with Hank? No. So all of the sessions that he's done thus far where they say that they are, have they all been wrong or, or he's just, you're just not familiar? Just not familiar. Oh, very good. Very, very good. So is there anything else that they'd like to show you now then? No. Very good. And do you have any questions at all that you may want to ask? No. Very good. And you ask them, could 